here we are in downtown Kitchener where we're gonna visit an urban beehive with beekeeper Melissa. Hi Melissa! Hi! So uh, we're just here on Duke Street in downtown Kitchener and you, you have a hive here. How long have you had it? Um, actually this one I just started in the spring. I had one and I split my hive into two. Brought one of them over here. Okay and uh, you also have an assistant beekeeper? Hello, assistant beekeeper. What's your name? Are you going to show us the hive? All right, let's go. Okay. Do you want to let the smoke go? Okay. You are. I get to wait, wait, wait till it gets a little bit of a fire on there. Know that we're coming. Okay, that's lots. That's lots. And a little bit at the top. Good. Okay. Now let's open it up. All right. No, the flowers don't need to smoke. What is that white stuff? That is a patty for the bees. It's made out of shortening and sugar. And the bees eat it and it kills any mites that they have on them. And that's a natural way to remove mites? You, yeah. Yep. And you just so, made that yourself, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just like yeah, a pretty sugar easy and oil Because okay. um, most commercial beehives, uh, they put pesticides in the hive in the summer, in the spring and the fall, because mites are so much of a problem. Mm. But uh, I don't put pesticides in my hive. So. What are they when they're white ones? They are... What are they? They're larvae. They're larva. Yep. And what about when we put a roof on them? What is it, what is inside underneath that roof? There's pupa under there. Yeah, those are pupa. So they the eggs when they hatch, they are these little white megadi things. Those are larvae. And then once they are old enough, the the bees put a, a lid on them of, of wax and propolis. This, this is honey. Mm -hmm, there's honey in there. And so it pupates, and then when the when the bee is fully grown, it eats its way out. So yeah, what's this stuff here? What is it? This is the honey that's ready. Can we take some? <laughs> Maybe later. So what are the kind of basic tools that you need to start up? Kind of the essentials that okay. you need, and how much do those things cost? So this is a smoker. A smoker will be in the range of 30 bucks. This is not essential, mm -hmm. but I found it makes it a lot easier. This is a frame lifter. I think it's like 20 bucks, okay. maybe 30. This is called a hive tool. If you buy it at a um, garden or at a hardware store, it's called a like scraper. Mm. You can find <laughs> okay. it somewhere else too. And then you have your Yeah, your this is my veil. veil. Um, so the hat I got used but just this uh, veil part was about thirty dollars okay um, i started with two deeps and two shallows mm -hmm. um, and that was enough that's what i put on my hive in my first year um, the boxes i get them unassembled at the bee store and then i put them together myself and paint them so they're they're less than thirty dollars that way each box each box so basically all of your supplies around two hundred dollars to yeah, get for started, one, yeah. for one hive. I mean, they say it's best to start with more than one hive because then if you have trouble with one, then you can use a, a strong hive to help out a weak hive uh, or combine them if, if you need to. Team um, up. But yeah, to start with one, that's about what it costs. Mm -hmm. So you to start the hive, though, you had to buy a nucleus of bees? Yeah. It's, they come in a jar? What is that? How no, that it's, come? it's a box, like a cardboard box. They call it a four-frame nuke. It's um, four frames. Um, it'll have frames of brood, that's the baby bees, um, and then frames of honey and pollen to get them started, um, and, and a queen to lay. Right. Okay, well, thank you, Melissa, for showing us your bees. My pleasure. And thank you to Melissa's assistant, Busy the Assistant. Mm -hmm. Say bye. Bye. Bzz.